And now that the chiku, the hot tub is ready to go, we need to heat it. And this is, this is the old girl, the old redneck pool heater that I took to the 2006 Maker Fair. It was a pretty good hit. I got vents on it uh, now, so that I can control how much how much heat can come up through it. They're just simple vents. And then there's that massive amount of copper. I'll put a link to the original build, which wasn't a video, but it was a before I was doing videos, so it was just a blog post. What a monster of a heating exchange. Let's uh, go ahead and take the top off, so you can see the burners. Those are those giant Cajun burners. There we go. This uh, shield just lifts off the top. It just sits on some legs. Then everything sits on top of the burners. And away she goes. Well, let's get her over to Steve and hook it up. Well, this is a hot tub sitting out in the outside area of a house. And we gotta get the control board back in there. So let's get that done. And then hang this down here or something. Once this is set, you can just forget it. We currently see it's 21.6 degrees Celsius. Uh, the controller right right here, the, the unit head, it just goes down to this panel behind here. And we currently just got this taped to a chair, but Steve's going to mount it down underneath there where the motor is, because it's going to basically be out of sight, out of mind. This will read the temperature once we turn it on. So, the moment of truth, I'm going to go turn on the actual electronics for the for the hot tub. Except for the display. Okay, the display turned on and it's it's basically saying it's 72 degrees. Okay, Steve, flip that switch up and that should turn on the high speed jets. Woohoo! It did it shock me, just scared me. It scared you. Okay, so those are the high speed jacuzzi jets. And it is reading uh, 21 degrees. Of course, there's no heat yet. And everything down there is functioning properly. If you go ahead and turn to the off position. Oh, you go, yeah, go ahead and flip it to the down position now. And that turns on the low speed motor. Does that sound right? Mm hmm So that's the low speed motor and the heat. So now it's making a call for heat. That's what the red, the red light means. And she should be heating. I guess if uh, it does have safety failover, so if it overheats, there's another sensor down there that will turn that board off. This one won't. Uh, this this other this Chinese head won't turn anything off. But uh, this does have a failover. Uh, what's called a uh, over over temperature proofing. Okay. So you'll be you'll get that. And 72 is what we got. But we do have the redneck pool heater. So we will get this thing hot really fast. You don't have to have a clock, do you, Steve? You can kind of control it with this. Yeah. Okay, we got one of the 2,000 BTU, 200,000 BTU burners going. Let's check the second one. <laughs> and you can like really crank them up with these. Yeah, right. that's how I have mine built. I can control them with these uh, valves over here, those regulator valves. They're specially designed for these Cajun pot burners. And we don't want to use a high flame because we don't have a, you know, a big pool pump running. We're just going to have about a, I think a half horse sump pump pumping water out of the pool through this hose. So really it's just a small Harbor Freight sump pump and if we put too much flame on it it'll boil right inside those pipes and burst them so we'll have to keep that down I just wanted to test it first before we hooked everything up so we can go ahead and start pumping water through that okay we got the uh, we got the uh, pump going and it's pumping clean through the uh, it's pumping through the heat exchanger we can crank those burners up, but what we'll do is we'll show that we are currently at about 73 degrees Fahrenheit, and we got the clocks. So we can see how long this takes to heat 
300 gallons of water. We'll come back out here and we'll we'll fire this up. Okay, let's just lift it up on the burner, Steve. And then we'll crank it up. Just grab these pipes on the sides here. Okay, and we'll as well put the hood on it to keep the air, keep the hot air on it. <laughs> what this does is leave it set on there, and that holds a little extra heat in, and you can control it with these veins. Okay, that's just going to sit out here and burn. We might, we might turn up the, the flame down there, but we'll come in here and take a look at this. And in here, we're already. 74 and it's been just a few minutes so let's just have the camera sit and watch this and what we're gonna do is go out there you guys watch the clock and the temperature either Celsius this is this is Celsius and this is uh, Fahrenheit Well, okay, well, we reached temperature. We reached temperature. We're at 40.2, and we're supposed to turn off at 38, and that's because we're still heating with the pool heater, um, the redneck pool heater. But we're at 102, and it was supposed to supposed to turn off at 102.4, so I suppose that's where we're at. And, uh, and now we just let this thing take care of itself from now on. Well, there's the end of the hot tub controller hack. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it was a four-part series, so there'll be a link to the other videos in case you missed them in the show notes. Uh, it was real fun making this work. Uh, reports are it's still doing great, heating the hot tub, doing its job. Uh, you got to see the uh, redneck pool heater for those who haven't been following me for decade plus. <laughs> uh, still use that to heat my pool. Uh, now my friend wants to build one for his pool. So yeah, it, it could catch on even more than it already has. Uh, so you can go to redneckpoolheater.com. That site's been up since 2005 or six and uh, it gives you the whole details on how to build one. Got to be careful though, they can be dangerous, so uh, you build one at your own risk, you really have to watch them carefully, so it's not, it's not something I actually recommend a general person do, unless you really know what you're trying to get into, because there's no safeties or anything like that. So you gotta, you gotta babysit the thing, and that's just annoying, so I don't do it very often. But thanks for joining, hope you enjoyed it, thumbs up, see you next time.